Hi, my name is Benedict Böcking. Today, I will present our ECCV 2022 work titled Making the Most of Text Semantics to Improve Biomedical Vision Language Processing. This work was part of my summer research internship at Microsoft Research. So our work focuses on scaling healthcare AI through multimodal learning, and in particular, on how to relate radiology text to images. The workflow in radiology looks as follows. Radiologists go over every scan and identify and document key clinical findings. This is very time consuming, and there's a growing backlog of radiology image reporting. And this backlog is why machine learning models are being developed to assist the workflow, for example, to aid with triaging. But there are a number of challenges to developing decision support models. We don't have access to many annotated images, and annotating images itself is a very costly process that doesn't scale. There are also a number of domain-specific challenges. There is a lack of pre-trained models in the radiology domain, first of all. And media, medical multimodal data sets are typically smaller in scale than general domain data sets. Furthermore, the text is quite different, and it's more challenging than general domain image captions. So a simple bag of words like understanding of text is just not sufficient to capture the key labels. The text usually contains um, many important modifiers, and it has long range dependencies. And for example, the absence of clinical findings is very important in medical imaging. So we'll often see phrases like, there are no signs of pneumonia. Whereas in the general domain text, in contrast, we wouldn't expect to see a caption that reads, there is no dog in this picture. So our goal is to use paired radiology Im images and text for multimodal self-supervised learning. And we first focus on the text modeling aspect in order to make the most of the available information that's encoded in the raw text. So to start, we assemble the text corpus to pre-train a domain-specific text encoder, CXRBIRD, which is available on Hackerface. And so our encoder has a domain-specific vocabulary. It is pre-trained on clinical notes and PubMed abstracts, and it is then specialized to chest X-ray reports through masked language modeling combined with a text-only self-supervised objective, which matches specific radiology sections across reports. For our joint training on the MIMIC 6 r dataset, we first pre-train the text and the image encoder separately, and we then perform joint contrastive learning using the global text and image representations. Importantly, we also add a masked language modeling loss to the objective to avoid shortcuts and maintain text understanding. And this framework can easily be extended to use local contrastive losses, such as patch to token matching, which is something that we explored in our work. But our analysis mostly focuses on how we can extend common evaluations of these joint models and how powerful the improvements from better text modeling are, even when we only rely on learning with global representations. So the existing literature focuses mainly on evaluating images alone or on joint retrieval, and largely on global image or text aspects. But in order to truly check what our models learn and how well they learn, we have to test their local alignment in the joint space. And we therefore develop a radiology phrase grounding benchmark, which implicitly tests many aspects of joint image text understanding. We called this benchmark MSCXR and we released it on Physionet. It contains over 1,000 image bounding box and sentence pairs across eight clinical findings, all annotated by expert radiologists. And so I'd like to quickly show you what grounding a phrase with the image and text encoders looks like. And for this, we built a demo, which is also publicly available for research purposes. On the image, you see the MSCXR bounding box in blue, and below you see the phrase a radiologist annotated, which reads cardiac silhouette is enlarged. So we enter this phrase and pass the phrase and image to the joint model to compute their similarity in the latent space. And the result that is displayed now shows the isocontours and it shows a heat map of the similarity, which strongly overlaps with the ground truth annotation in this case. We conducted a very broad set of evaluations in our paper. And the message is that global only training and using and maintaining a good text encoder actually yields state-of-the-art results across a wide range of benchmarks. And these improvements are complementary to other advancements in the domain, such as uh, local contrastive losses. Finally, here is an overview of the resources that we make publicly available. This includes our trained language and image models on Hugging Face, our inference code on GitHub, a phrase grounding demo using Binder, and our MSCX, our phrase grounding benchmark data set on Physionet. Um, Thank you very much for watching. And at ECCV, please come visit our poster during post session five on Thursday.